and albuginia divide the testes in lobules and each of the lobules will contain two or three seminiferous tubules. So here we have all these lobules present. Go of high power. They are ruining your picture there? No. And so in between, you're going to find that we have lady cells in between, interstitial cells or lady cells in between these uh, tubules in here. And so I am going to go a little bit high power, looking at this here. So you here you are going to find that in between we are going to have Sertoli cells. In between we are going to have Sertoli cells. Right up there in the lining and also in between there. And on this side that we are looking at, I don't know how clear it is. Sertoli cells, yeah. So we have Sertoli cells up there. We have a little bit squished up because of this present in between in here. But then you're going to see we have up top there spermatogonia, primary spermatogonia, goes through the process of secondary spermatogonia, and eventually it's going to be forming the spermatids. And so in this section, you might be able to see like lines like this, and that is the process, the steps where the formation of the sperm is taking place. Here we have the formation of sperms that is taking place in here. So you'll find that here we'll have primary spermatogonia, secondary spermatogonia, formation of spermatids, and in between them you're going to find that we'll have also sertoli cells present. Sertoli cells, their job is to protect the pore of the sperm. Anytime it's a sperm has more than enough cytoplasm, it will kind of like take it away from it. Its job is to protect the sperm from the bacteria also. Create the blood barrier that is created in there, it's part of it. And it will protect the sperm from the bacteria. If any kind by mistake bacteria arise. Okay, so here this will be a test of an epididymis. 